Hi, Joseph. I want to go over a few things with you and let, give you an opportunity to redo this and then um, resubmit. You get up to four submissions. So the first thing is uh, this looks to be okay. Be sure, go to your homepage, make sure that even your name which you should have put add page number and then do that. Don't, don't, yeah, I have a feeling you may not have done it right. If you don't do it right, then when it goes to the next page, no, it does. Okay. Go ahead and make that Times New Roman. Okay. Then I want to, you, you need to make sure all this is Times New Roman, which probably it is, but let's just do a highlight. Let's go to right. Let's go to font. Oh, no, it's, yeah, it is. Okay, ex excellent. Okay, that's all good to go, but keep it highlighted. And what we're going to do is go right click again and go to paragraph. Always make sure that these are buttons that are set on zero. On some programs, the, these two zeros are actually in a different column. It says spacing at the top. Okay, we also want to make sure that everything is double spaced. Okay, so we're going to do that. Margins are okay. All right, now you had kind of double spaced it. So we're going to have to go back in and take out your extra spaces. Um, okay, this is supposed to be four spaces. So let me do this. One, two. That's four. Also, you need to spell thesis correctly. Uh, 26. No, just say, I would take out this mystery. I would just say, I'd strike that out. Just say, this mystery should be solvable if authorities focus on the brother of, okay, all right, so that's all I would put. I'd strike all this out. You can add that later, okay? Will you turn it in on Sunday? Okay, now this, I can tell you have too many. Let's do this. You have too many spaces. So let's go hit it one time and two times. Okay, so that's four. We're going to center this. We're going to capitalize all of the words in the title, unless they're little words like and, to, whatever. All right, another thing is now we're going to go to, I'm going to go ahead and take everything back to this margin. want to go before 5 30 okay so where i am is with jane gallowitz or whatever this person's name is i'm going to highlight all of this well i didn't get that last one and you'll see it's probably kind of messed up a little bit okay i'm going to right click and i'm going to go back to paragraph now i'm sure all of these are still at zero and they should be on special, I'm going to hanging, and I'm going to do that. Okay, since you kind of had already done this, it's going to um, give a little bit of problem, but not much. What you're going to do, okay, is you're going to indent. See how it's very clear. Oh, goodness. I did the wrong one. Where the paragraph begins. And you want it to look very neat like that. And all of these lines after the first indented line all line up with that. See? That's where you want it to be. Okay. So, another thing is we're not going to use first person i just said we are don't use first person okay i know it's what you're you think that's your name just say bert 
Ramsey killed his sister, John Bonet, by accident. For me, okay, now, I don't really care. And again, that's first person. You want to take that out. All I want to know is what was in that article and why you want to use it. Um, so you might start with something like this. This article supports the argument that he killed his uh, sister, John Bonet Ramsey, comma. Okay, so do that. Sister John Bonet by accident. Okay. Uh, all right. This stuff is just you just not really saying anything important. I need to know about the article. You're going to tell me what's in it. Uh, is it in the article according to the article? John Bonet died of a blow to the head. Okay. You need to take out that extra space. You know, when it underlines it, it's it's telling you it'll correct it for you. So let it oblige you. But uh, I think Burke accidentally hit her. Okay. Died of a blow to the head. Again, I don't care. I know that's what you think. You don't tell me. Now, you could say, and Burke, no, I don't think he, think about what you're saying. He didn't mean to hurt her. I mean, yeah, he wanted to hurt her. You're saying he accidentally hit her with something. No, he intentionally hit her with something. He didn't mean to kill her. I think that's what you're trying to say. I think that's what the article is trying to say. But you need to go back and skim it and find all the important things that you could, maybe five things that you could use in a paper. Uh, died of a blow to the head and Burke. I would say probably now did it say where they where the flashlight was in this article do not unless that documentary we see repeats some information don't bring that documentary in with some of and what about comma not meaning to kill her. Okay. Complete accident, but now it puts the pure. Okay. Uh, now you're asking questions. I don't want to know that. I want you, does it talk about that? Uh, then are you going to say this put her parents in a uh, precarious situation and talk about that, but you don't want to put anything like this or should, I, uh, 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 don't do that. Don't use any interrogative statements, only declarative, only declare it as a fact. So all these things need to be taken out. Uh, did an awful job. They should have done a more thorough job. Okay. You need to concentrate on Burke in this. Okay, more than anything else, go back and read it. Just pull things out about Burke. Do not use first person. Don't use second person that says you. Okay, and then just resubmit it. But go back and look at the article very carefully. In fact, well, uh, I'm not going to pull it up. I'll let you do it. But uh, yeah, go ahead and make these corrections and then go back and reread the article. Just pull out the things that are going to support your argument that Burke killed his sister uh, accidentally or otherwise.